make one wrong move in the kitchen and our next guest will likely cut you, literally. No, not really. Joining us live now is star of Mob Wives, Renee Graziano, and her two sisters, Jennifer and Lana, who created a new cookbook called How to Use a Meat Cleaver. Welcome, ladies. Hello. 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 Hey, hey, I'm loving your new cookbook. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I actually made something last night from this thing called uh, chicken piccata. Chicken oh, piccata. Oh, excellent dish. I even brought it to the studio and I forgot to bring it out to show you. I'm going to have somebody run back. You, you just got it. It was delicious. Yum. How did this cookbook, oh, get, great. How did this cookbook get started? Well, we were, um, obviously you know that we have Mob Wives and Lana, who's our sister and a restaurateur, is not on that show. So, for various reasons, but we wanted to do something that could include her and that we can work on together as a family. So, she's had all of these recipes passed down, you know, from our grandparents and our great aunts and our mother, kind of written down and stored away and hidden in secret away from us, too. And we decided we needed her to break them out and put them on paper and do a cookbook with us, so. Ah, I love it. I love good family recipes. And, and Renee, I gotta tell you, you holding this meat cleaver, you're scaring me to death. <laughs> I look like the cat that ate the canary. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay, among the three of you sisters, who's, who's the better cook? Lana. <laughs> I, well, I'll have to say Lana as well, yes, for sure. I'm still learning. I'm the youngest. Ah, I see. Okay. And is there a lot of fighting and feuding that goes on in the kitchen, or do y'all kind of bond together and, and get it done? No, we let her cook. <laughs> it, it depends. Oh, it depends you sit back and let her cook. I see. <laughs> Absolutely. I yeah, guess they let I me do. do it all. That's all. And then I'm, I'm assuming on the side you're drinking wine while she's doing all the work. That's me. <laughs> I'm just causing trouble. No, that's, well, I, I think that's probably appropriate. Tell us, tell us about the restaurant. Well, we, uh, we're actually looking for a new location now. We're going to be opening one together, the three of us. Um, but Lana had one in Wall Township, New Jersey. Uh, Brick Township. Brick, I'm sorry, Bricktown, uh, New Jersey. And then prior to that, there was a, a couple in Staten Island, one in the city. So we're in between spots right now. But the, her, her restaurant in Brick had lines around the corner for days and days and days at a time. Every, every day it was open. There was always a wait. That's great. I, when you get the new place open, I want to come try it out. Sure. Excellent. I understand that y'all have a wine as well? Yes, we have a family food line coming called Graziano Macaroni Company, and that is pasta, sauces, oils, and vinegars, and then we'll expand into other products. But um, right shortly after that, we have uh, Grazie by Graziano, which will be our family wine. Awesome. So y'all are just really mega empire in it. We're trying. We're trying. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do something that our kids can we have once the show is over. and. You know. Well, you're very entertaining, and I'm loving this cookbook. I love Italian food. I'm, I'm a good Southern cook, but, but I like to bring in the Italian as well. So, hey, I want to just show you. Okay, it's not warmed up, but here's the chicken piccata. I want you to see I really did make it, and it's really delicious. Oh, my God, it's wonderful. <laughs> I, this is my lunch. This is my takeout. Thank you all so much for being Enjoy here this morning. It. it was Enjoy. great Thank to talk you. to you. Enjoy. Enjoy. You Thank can. you. Thank you. You can find How to Use a Meat Cleaver by the Graziano Sisters wherever you like to buy your favorite cookbooks. Next, Susie is sitting down with an author to talk all about becoming a resolute woman with a meat cleaver. Don't go away.